My life is full of fears since I muttered her on the roller coaster. And so, throughout the years, I've never really ever been a boaster. My love's just like my head, a burning pile of trouble as you know. When Annie came to me, I thought he's someone else just as sardonic. Yes, capricious was she, but for my mind to teem to be a tonic. I loved her, loved her, loved, distracted me from my hang-ups on dying. Yet that weed on which she puffed, it made me wonder in our life, had she been only lying? When we went to L.A., it seemed so wrong, no snow and phony laughter, yet and we longed to stay, so I knew we weren't happy ever after. Still, other women don't fulfill my eccentricities and standards, so stand for this I won't, I'll pluck her from that Tony's grasp and force him to unhit. I was aware making up is always hard, but it all end in a cafe on Sunset Boulevard. Still, even though her denial caused me rage, I had to turn a new page. The tale turned happy on stage, so now I realize I needed the exit. My chicken brother laid, and now at least there's a way my neuroses get me picked. Yet now that I am back up on my legs and scraping out my mind's dregs, I know I needed the eggs.